Hello, I'm Bob Devers, and I want to tell you a little bit about my 2023 uh, Airstream that I have for sale. And I'm assuming that people who are interested in Airstream knows the basics. So I'm gonna kind of focus on uh, upgrades and mods that I've done that makes this particular um, Airstream unique and in my opinion, um, you know, turnkey and ready to go. So uh, let's go through um, the Airstream. First of all, on the outside, I've done a complete um, ceramic nano coating on it. So uh, makes a huge difference, makes the bugs easy to come off, makes it slick, uh, slicker, I guess is a word for it. And um, as well as makes it much easier to, to clean up when it gets dusty or, or as I said, uh, uh, bugs or whatever on it. Low Prodder. Sometimes they refer it to a 27 foot, sometimes it's referred to a 28 foot, but it's, uh, it's uh, uh, let's just call it a 28 foot for the time being. I think that's actually the actual length, including the, the hitching and all that sort of thing. And uh, I left this compartment all open in order to show you a few things that I've done, little things that is a convenience thing. For example, the cotter pin uh, was kind of hard to get in and out. So I had it uh, ground down uh, by my machinist that I, I use for certain things to a bullet shape. Simply makes it a lot easier to uh, hitch and unhitch. First time I used it, it I don't know, it kind of got stuck and took 10 or 15 minutes to do it, very aggravating. And I said, well, I'm gonna fix that problem. So as we go around it, I'm gonna show you what I've done. And um, here in the front, uh, of course, it's got the blue ox, excuse me, blue ox um, uh, leveling jack here. And then I had uh, uh, made out of, of uh, solid oak, so the uh, support for the uh, snap pads. By the way, I've got five snap pads on it. It does have automatic levelers. And then, of course, the uh, blue ox leveling, uh, which is what's on there now. And the thing that I've done here, I want to take a nice close look. In this compartment here, uh, which was basically unused, uh, this is where all the, uh, the inverter and the battery and transfer switch, all the other stuff is. This is a 368 hour Xbeon um, uh, lithium battery. It's, it's got the highest rating in the industry based upon my research. And um, this is a, the, the, the solar controller with the smart shunt and um, the transfer switches all over here. Here's your display out here, as well as um, it's got an app which will also uh, display all the information that you need. And as you can see, it's nice, clean, very, very, very clean work. And then I have a, a ventilation system, a fan control, thermostatic and controlled fan ventilation system to get the heat out of here. These inverters do put out a lot of heat. So uh, the, the two fans, you can see the cutout for them, sucks all the hot air out of there and uh, haven't had any problems at all with heat or overheating. And before I had that installed, uh, I left this open just to get the hot air out. That's, not an issue at this point. The, um, on the exterior here, and is, this has all been replaced. Um, the first trip that I took on it, which has actually just been one trip, um, my sewer hose fell out. And if you look on the forums, you'll, you'll notice that's apparently a, a common problem. So all this storage has been replaced and it's a, a firm locking and it's impossible to uh, it to cut, open up and lose your sewer hose. And as we walk around, you'll see that uh, I have uh, six 100 watt ZAMP rigid solar panels. And um, uh, again, uh, from my research, these are some of the most efficient and highest rated and I had a company out of Prescott, Arizona, who uh, basically, he just does this type of work on RVs. And the kit that he used was a 
a, a kit specifically designed for the the arch or curved roof for the uh, Airstream product. So the kit is, you can see it's super heavy duty uh, and uh, I don't think you have to worry about anything coming loose. It's uh, a nice, nice job that he did. And as we walk around it again, there are no scratches or anything at all that I'm aware of. And again, complete nano coating. And I'll also forgot to mention that I do have um, uh, uh, two uh, Coleman uh, AC, ultra quiet, efficient Coleman, just came out and only on the globe trotter and above. For example, the step below is the international. It has the old Dometic and these are quieter and, and more efficient. The awning colors, you can see the description. As we walk in here, let me go through a few things that I've done. I've had it in for Airstream for some warranty work. The 12 volt disconnect was working sometimes and not working sometimes, so that's been replaced. Little things, this was reversed. Well, up was uh, on, well, up is on and up is on before it was down was on and up was on. So it was a little bit confusing. So I had that redone. Uh, little things uh, I'm mentioning just to maybe show you the attention to detail that I've, I've put, into, uh, put into things. All right, and then as we come in, this is a major, major upgrade here. Uh, this is a Corian uh, tabletop. I do have the one that came with it, which is a uh, two part that um, uh, hinges together, I guess. And I still still have that can be used, but it's a little bit bigger and just one solid piece of, of Corian. And I think perfectly matched to the Barcelona and white decor that's in here. And as we go through here, I'll also mention um, the, the fan was uh, making some noise. So they replaced or uh, repaired the replaced the fan as part of the warranty work and uh, everything else is pretty much standard uh, that you're going to find on any new uh, uh, globe trotter 27 footer except again a few little upgrades that i've done that i like for example the the towel hooks or robe hooks so i put one here one here one over here and again perfectly matched it's a, uh, so it blends like it was, you know, designed to have this hook on it. So we got extra extra compartments or extra uh, storage capacity for hanging stuff. Inside, um, the uh, you got two closets over here, one on each side. I removed the shelving because I wanted it for hanging, but uh, that's uh, still have that of course. And then back here. One of the major upgrades I, I did, I don't quite understand why Airstream does not extend the frame or mattress support to support the mattress all the way out before it was even here. And therefore the mattress was five or six inches bigger than the frame. So this was all custom done with the ventilation cutouts so it can get plenty of air. Again, both sides, which gives it a much more firmer feel. By the way, it was a uh, three quarter inch marine grade plywood, sanded. And then over here, you can see, these are the fans, the thermostatically controlled fans are not running now, uh, that um, uh, um, helps get the hot air out of the electronic storage compartment. Uh, that probably does it. Again, everything else is unmodified things that I've done. Of course, little things that I, I failed to mention. I put, you know, bumpers uh, here to prevent the, uh, the noise when you're opening and closing it and a little tighter fit. This was, of course, loose. And I, so a whole bunch of little minor things. 
And in summary, I want to mention a couple of things that I failed to mention, but it's in the uh, description. It, it has the um, three inch uh, deck lift kit. Then I also put the soft starts on both ACs. And uh, the, the, the way that works is, is that uh, you can actually run both ACs on 30 amp service. And uh, the other thing is, is with the energy management system, the, the, uh, the 360 amp hour lithium battery, the 3000 watt uh, Victron inverter, I can actually run for maybe six or seven hours, uh, one AC off of the inverter. And then um, of course, with your, during the daytime, that's gonna be extended with your 600 watts of uh, solar that you have. The, um, um, and uh, then a little minor thing is I read on the forums, the Airstream forum, there were some issues with people accidentally locking themselves out. Uh, this door shut and locked, so we put the anti-lockout uh, uh, little kit that they have uh, on there to prevent people from accidentally locking themselves out. And I believe that pretty much um, sums up everything, except for people always want to know why I'm selling it. I took delivery of this in late May of this year, and um, uh, I've owned half a dozen motorhomes, the first uh, towable, the first camper that I've owned. And um, um, uh, due to my wife's uh, some health issues, a little bit cumbersome for her to help me hitch and unhitch. And uh, I've also previously owned a uh, leisure travel. And for a long period of time, the waiting list was a couple of years. And uh, I just found out that I, I'm able to get what I want and it should be available for me to pick up uh, in January of this coming year. So three or four months away. So I just made a decision that uh, I wanna go back to the motorized route uh, much easier for my wife and, and uh, some advantages to uh, having a, a motorized uh, motorhome as opposed to a towable that kind of works uh, better for uh, us at this stage in our life.